It's Beer at O'Clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the world's oldest Lambic brewery, Timmermans, and it's a bottle of their Framboise, which is a raspberry Lambic, coming in at 4% ABV. There's a look at the label, foil neck. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. It looks nice. Hear the hiss. Do you hear that? Good start then. Uh, what do we have here? Just trying to find the English on here. 15% raspberries. That's not bad. It's not bad. You can definitely see that by the colour of the beer. It's a murky brown, reddish hue on the beer. Nice levels of carbonation, no head. Yeah, it's it's not clear by any means, but a lambic's not meant to be clear. Aroma, especially with all that fruit in it. Yeah, it's a raspberry lambic. It's 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 lovely and tart. Beautiful raspberry and malt aroma. And it's going to be drinkable at 4%. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's lovely. That, that is a really, really nice beer. I just love that full on raspberry tart, wonderful jammy, raspberry jammy tarty flavour. Mixed with the, the sweet malt and the sweetness from the raspberry. It's a wonderful beer. It's biscuity and bready. It's extremely drinkable, nicely carbonated beer. The carbonation fizzes on the tongue. And it, and it just helps with just pushing that beer on the inside of the palate, releasing more flavour. It's quite sharp, it's a little bit sour. It's very nice. Where would I drink it? Beautiful hot summer's day. I would definitely drink a half of this. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Why? I'll show you. First of all, let me let me fill the glass the, the glass up. There you go. Uh, on the back of the label here, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to focus on this. Let's get it up nice and close for you. There you go. Can you see the it's got an E number? Now why on earth do you have to put man-made chemicals in beer, man-made preservatives in a beer. You shouldn't need to do that. Beer, the alcohol will preserve the beer to a certain extent for a certain amount of time, certainly up to a year. Uh, being a raspberry lambic, it's probably spent at least six months fermenting anyway, and, and with all that fruit and everything. I just don't understand. I really just, just don't understand why you know, you've got your basic ingredients, malt, hops, yeast and water. And of course in this raspberry, so it's five ingredients. You shouldn't need to have to put E numbers in your beer. It's, it's not good for the human body. Um, my, my mother always used to tell me that E numbers give you cancer. And I remember back in the eighties and nineties, uh, the squash makers of the UK used to pack their squashes full of E numbers and there was a massive report on the television about it and my mother used to scan the bloody the, the, the back of the squash bottles to make sure as kids she wasn't sticking e numbers in us um they've, they've changed their ways now there's no e numbers in squash so i'd like to try to change the the ways of timmermans and and maybe ask them politely whether well they'll probably won't listen because i'm a, I'm a reg, re, relatively small blogger would they would they listen to me and, and take the e number out of the beer but yeah, so 
The answer is, it's a wonderfully tasting beer. There's nothing wrong with it at all in terms of taste. But if you read the small print on the back, it's got E numbers in and it's not for me. I'm not putting that type of chemical in my body. So no, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, I'm gonna rate it, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It's a nice tasting beer, but I've taken a couple of marks off because of the E numbers. And I just wanted to kind of just let you guys know that uh, there's E numbers in, in Timmermans, uh, Frambois, Lambicus. And I wonder what the original owners, they, they boldly put the world's oldest Lambic brewery on the label. But I wonder what the founders would think about putting E numbers in their Lambics. They, 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 they would probably turn in, in their graves. Uh, okay, 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Pardon me. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.